And welcome to Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, the ultimate racetrack. I'm Mark Cotarobles alongside Jasmine Deville for a special edition of Central Coast News. We have a lot planned over the next 30 minutes. Well, check out this famous track right behind us, nestled in a valley right off Highway 68, essentially becoming a tent city flooded with race car fans. So why is this track, this place, so important? Two words, tourist attraction which means more money into the Monterey Peninsula's pockets. From hotels to lunch to a visitor's tax, fans from all over the world pump $120 million each year into the communities. Tammy Blunt, CEO of the Monterey County Convention and Visitors Bureau, says the area would see a, quote, huge deficit without the track and all the attractions associated with it. She says they play a key role in its popularity around the world. They're, they're huge in the more motorsports arena. You know, locally here, there's lots of people that don't know um, the legend of Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, but internationally, it's really famous. Um, and so we've got spokespeople like Mario Andretti talking about how much he loves our area. Um, they draw a different kind of spectator than any other attraction here. Uh, and they, they add a little bit of adrenaline to the package, too. So. She also said there's a long-term gain for the short-lived pain and those traffic jams that clog the roads when an event comes to town. 15 or 20 minutes a couple times a day, she says, is a lot better than a couple of hours like many bigger cities usually see. So I've been a racing fan since about the age of 10. I first came to Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca at the age of 16. That said, I know many of you watching aren't really familiar with the type of racing that happens out here at the track. So let's get you up to speed. This is sports car racing. It's not NASCAR, it's not IndyCar, but like any form of motorsports, the general concept for this style of road racing holds true. Be the fastest, don't crash, and win. Let's begin by setting straight the basics, whether it's the American Le Mans series or the Grand Am series, they don't go in circles and they're not racing on dirt. Every event is on a paved road course, meaning drivers are turning both left and right, just like Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, which is arguably among the most famous racetracks worldwide. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Great sense of rhythm, very little downforce, so it's a uh, little grip, so it's, it's, it's challenging to drive, but it has a great rhythm, great elevation, and the countryside's absolutely beautiful. And you get a lot of people who show up to this event, which is nice to see for road racing in this country. That's right, actor Patrick Dempsey, better known to some as McDreamy, is now a regular competitor on the track. The Grey's Anatomy star has been balancing his acting and driving career for several years now. More from him in a moment. We've got prototypes in between those two cars. Let's talk it's about the cars, as it can get a bit confusing for the novice fan. Sitting in the grandstands, you'll notice they don't all look the same. For the American Le Mans series, which raced here in May, there were five different classes of cars in one race. This weekend for the Grand Am series, there are three different categories, meaning in this form of endurance sports car racing, you have multiple races within the race. Different cars racing at different speeds, all on the track at the same time. But that doesn't mean the drivers are getting confused, right? I asked that question to San Luis Obispo native Townsend Bell. No, I radio all the time and have my guys tell me, you know, who's, who's in front of me, who's that Yahoo that keeps blocking me, or who's coming up behind. As an accomplished road racer, we turn to Townsend for some expert insight about these sports cars. At the top of the list, in terms of speed, you have the prototype cars. And with these, it's all in the name, because as a prototype, you won't find it on the showroom floor at your local dealership or on the highway. These are purpose-built, single-seat race cars. 700 horsepower, top speeds around 200 miles per hour, depending on the track. Top speeds at Laguna Seca are a bit slower. Then you have the GT categories, where there's much more brand identity. Let's have Townsend do the talking, since he has the first-hand experience behind the wheel. And the GT category that I am in is is really, a, I think, the coolest class because we have a, we race Ferrari, we have Porsche, uh, Aston Martin, um, you know, Corvette, Viper, etc. All the big sports car brands battling it out with highly modified versions of the street car. If, if the Ferrari is $250,000 out of the showroom, this thing's almost a million dollars. So just really cool technology and, and fiercely competitive. Five cars in So you get the idea. Racing at this level is pricey, and perhaps that's the draw. One wrong turn can make for a very expensive day. Not to mention the risk of injury, but most drivers will tell you you can't focus on the fear. 
the level of safety has evolved over the years. Uh, you look back at what was happening in the 60s and the 70s and even the 80s, the cars are not the same anymore. Um, but you run that risk. I mean, if you hit something, you feel it because you're flying. You're doing about 170 miles an hour. So if you hit something and you hit it right, you can get hurt, certainly. Should that happen, it's a big blow to not only that driver behind the wheel, but also to the co-driver waiting for their turn to race. Confused? Let's explain this, since the co-driver aspect is another factor that makes endurance sports car racing fairly unique. When you come to the track this weekend, you'll notice each car has multiple drivers, and they race as teammates. This is a demonstration of how these ultra-fast pit stops are made. Think of it as a relay race. One driver hands off the driving duties to the other. Townsend explains how it works and why it's all easier said than done. There's a minimum requirement for each driver, so it's, it's required that we do a driver change during the race, and it's amazing how quickly we can stop, fuel the car, change the tires, and change the driver, because it's not just a shoulder belt. We have a six-point harness, we have a drinking system, radio, so many things to worry about, and we try to set the steering wheel height and the seat position for the next driver before we even come to a stop. So there's a whole lot of things, a checklist, if you will, that I've got to go through before we make that driver switch. All of that in 35 to 40 seconds. You really want to practice the driver changes, be as smooth and quick as possible, um, and minimize your mistakes, and that just takes repetition. Whether you consider auto racing a sport or a hobby, there's one more thing you can't argue. It's big business with corporate sponsors, television deals, and the demands of delivering a successful product that resonates with your fans. Promoters need to sell the tickets. For whatever reasons, both series, American Le Mans and Grand Am, we're falling short in that mission. So next year will be a season of change as sports car racing in North America is merging to become one series. Don't worry, most of what you have now learned about the cars and the style of racing will stay the same. And the new name for this unified series is very appropriate, United Sports Car Racing. Executives working behind the scenes and most drivers agree everybody wins. More competition, more cars to see, more racing, and the best, the very best racetracks uh, in the U.S. Well, the folks here at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, they wouldn't be so quick to agree. The merger means one less race weekend per year here at the track. We are just getting into gear on this special edition of Central Coast News. But did you know this track was featured in movies like Herbie, The Love Bug, where Herbie races in the Monterey Grand Prix and the sequel, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo? Next, more on how the track is known across the world.